Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about migraine headache, what you should know about migraines. Many people don't take headache seriously because they assume that it's a minor sickness that will resolve by itself even without you taking any medicine. This is usually the case if someone else is complaining about a headache. But bear in mind that headaches come in different uh, severity. But the most dangerous ones are tension headache and migraine headache. Today, I'll be focusing on migraine headache. What is migraine headache? A migraine headache is the most severe painful headache that you will ever experience. And it is most likely preceded by warning signs like flashes of light, blind spots, tingling in your arms and legs. Sometimes the patient may even feel nausea or vomiting and increased sensitivity to light and sound. The pain from migraine will last much longer than the usual uh, headache that, you know, regular headache that you will call like mild headache. Sometimes it even prolonged for days. What is the cause of a migraine headache? A lot of scientists think that the cause is due to some kind of abnormal brain activity, which causes a temporary alteration in the brain nerve signals, or some kind of body chemicals or blood flow to the brain. But the actuality is that day one, that this idea is only a hypothesis or speculation because the exact cause of migraine headache is actually unknown. There are some stimulants that will set up the, the migraine that people experience. Why is it that all of a sudden a person will start having migraine? There are people who are fortunate that they may never ever have any severe headache that should be classified as migraine. But unfortunately, not everybody is that fortunate. And there are some people that are prone to experiencing migraine more often than the average population. The following are things that will trigger a person to having a migraine. Some of these are avoidable, but others are actually unavoidable. One of the things that will trigger a person to having a migraine headache is smoking or exposure to smoke or what we call secondhand smoke. Stress and tension, sometimes from physical and emotional stress, will also trigger you having a migraine headache. There is the possibility of Depression, if you are going through some kind of depression, anxiety, or overexcitement, it might trigger you from having a migraine headache. Uh, tiredness or jet lag when you fly from one area to another area due to differences in time, it might trigger you uh, getting into having a migraine headache. Sometimes over exercise, you have to exercise to your limit. Over exercising will trigger you from having a migraine headache. Loud, excessive noise, bright light, flickering light, or strong smell or odor, or really strong smell from a perfume can also trigger some people into having a migraine headache. Um, when you don't sleep normally and you have irregular sleep patterns, that is another uh, possibility uh, of causing you having a migraine. Some people that have allergies and allergy reaction um, will also cause that. Fasting or skip skipping meals uh, to the extent that you will have a low blood sugar may also cause a migraine. Dehydration, not drinking enough water, and you feel dehydrated, it is a problem that may cause 
migraine. Alcohol, unusual, abnormal use of alcohol, it's another source of migraine. Um, hormonal imbalance, menstrual cycle, fluctuations, menopause, and some food that contain tyramines, such as red wine, smoked fish, uh, nitrate containing food like hot dogs, uh, chocolate, citrus. Uh, some food uh, will trigger you into getting a migraine. There is also the possibility of medications uh, will also cause you having a migraine, like sleep meds, uh, hormone replacement therapy uh, will also cause that. Now, let's talk about the statistics. How common is migraine? The records we have show that on average, about 12% of the population is affected by migraine. Uh, in the United States, there's about 36 million people that are affected by migraine. The age group that are usually more prone to migraine are between the age of 15 to 15 years of age. Uh, unfortunately, uh, women are more prone to having migraine than men. This, of course, will have no reason why this happened. It just happens that women get affected by migraine than men. Now, what are the symptoms? Things that will let you know that what you're having is not the regular headache, but a migraine. A uh, migraine, the pain is very severe. The pain can be throbbing, and the pain can be confined to one side of the one side of the head or both sides of the head. Uh, if your headache makes you feel too sensitive to light and sound, You're, you have sensitivity to light and sound, that is a sign of a migraine. When you have migraine and you feel there's sweat, you're sweating, and, and, and the temperature changes, and you feel ache in your tummy, sometimes diarrhea, that's a sign of a migraine. And the headache is so severe that you're not able to perform your normal uh, daily activities. There is a typical sign of migraine that we call aura, uh, warning sign. Auras are warning signs of a migraine. What are our auras? Auras are uh, perceptual disturbances, like strange lights, flashing or sparkling light. Uh, sometimes you have a visual blind spot, uh, an unpleasant smell that you will feel. And sometimes the lights that you see are kind of like zigzag. And you have problems speaking. And sometimes you have neck and shoulder stiffness. Okay, that's a typical sign of a migraine. A lot of migraines... Um, on average, there's 30 to 35% of people that have migraine that feel the aura. The aura is not always with migraine, but there's a high percentage that it will show up. About 30 to 35% of people that have migraine will feel an aura. Um, it's kind of unusual. In adults, uh, they feel the aura before the headache comes. But in children, the aura and the headache, they come together. Okay. How is migraine treated? Unfortunately, there is really no current treatment that will cure a migraine. But the lucky, um, the fortunate news is that there are some treatments that will help you with the signs and symptoms and make it a lot easier to handle the headache. But the most important thing you need to know is that some lifestyle changes are really important to help you avoid having headache. Some of these lifestyle changes could um, involve your stress reduction. You try as much as you can to reduce the stress in your life. Drinking plenty of water 
you know, so that you don't get hydrated. Because you know that hydration, being being dehydrated, it's um, a, a sign or a symptom that will get you into having a migraine. You're getting a, good, a regular exercise is another lifestyle change that will help you avoid getting a headache um, that will be classified as a migraine. And also getting enough sleep. You can't uh, be getting less than six hours a night. Okay, if you're doing that, you are subjecting yourself to having a migraine headache. Another treatment, doctors usually will give you Motrin, Naprosin, Tylenol, all the analgesics that you can get over the counter. Uh, if you feel nauseated, you can get a prescription for Reglan. Okay, how do you prevent um, migraine? Um, of course, it is more beneficial to do everything possible to prevent migraine instead of treating it because. When you actually have the migraine, there is no cure, but you may have treatments uh, that will help you um, handle the, the problems that come with migraine a lot better. Okay? Um, prevention is very, very important. The prevention advises that you may be able to uh, take some, some supplements. Okay, supplements like vitamin B2, um, vitamin B12 uh, to help you. There is also regular exercise and also getting enough uh, good sleep is very important for you to avoid getting migraine. Okay, severe migraine um, will make doctors, after you've tried the simple over-the-counter medications, Doctors will go into prescribing really um, some prescription medicine for you for the uh, for the head for the migraine. Uh, one of the most important um, medications that they usually order is what we call sumatriptan. Okay, sumatriptan is a medicine uh, that's usually ordered for migraine, but this is if everything else has been tried and it's not working out for you i hope this information will be useful for you i hope you try everything possible to avoid getting a migraine headache but if you do now you have the information to know how and what you can do to help yourself or even help uh, somebody else you know good luck and i hope you don't have to have a migraine headache Take care. Bye-bye.